To start this makeup look, I am going to use e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in Medium Brown. And using this Echo Tools brush, I'm just going to directly dip that brush into the cream and then directly apply that on to my brow. And I am literally making sure that I'm not getting too much of a cream because this is very dark and pigmented. So I'm trying to be very careful. And it really gives you this decent amount of time for you to blend everything. But once that baby sets, it's really going to stay in place. If you have an old mascara or if you've already finished one of your mascaras, just keep the one and clean that up and you can use that as a spoolie. And of course, I'm going to be doing the same thing on my other brow. And once I am done with the outline, I'm going to again fill my brow in sometimes i use a powder to fill them in but i'm just gonna do all pomade and to make my brows look more clean and more defined i am going to use this concealer from rimmel london and this is what they call the match perfection i'm actually in love with this concealer nobody talks about this concealer but i love it i love the formula it doesn't i'm gonna use this under my eyes as well i love this concealer because it doesn't give me the creases under my eyes. Then after applying the concealer all around my brow, I'm just going to blend that in with a brush. Moving on to the eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. This is an amazing product. Such a nice drugstore find. Seriously, it's one of the best eyeshadow primers from the drugstore that I have tried. So I'm just going to make sure that I evenly spread that. And then after that, I am going to get this. Um, this is the InstaFix powder from Rimmel London as well. And then I'm using a foundation brush because I find it way easier if I use a foundation brush. It's just going to take seconds. You, literally, you guys can see that right now. <laughs> And then after that, I'm going to get these contouring powder, and this is from my Shape Matters palette, and then apply that directly onto my crease, just like that. And once I am satisfied with the intensity of it, then that's the only time that I'll stop. And then the brush that I'm using right now is from NYX. Love this brush. Amazing. So the palette that I'll be using today is the Urban Decay Shadow Box. I feel like I've never really used it, used it. I've reviewed it, I think that was last year, and I've never touched it ever again because there are so many eyeshadow palettes here with me that I still haven't reviewed. So I think I'm going to stop buying makeup for a while and then focus on everything that I have. And then I'm using the same brush, and I'm going to apply that on the outer corner and on the inner corner. I will be doing a halo eye makeup look today, so I am preventing to put some product in the middle. But that's just going to be up to you, but this is what I wanted to do with it. Again, once I am satisfied with the intensity of that one, I am going to get black out. And then I am going to apply that on the outer and inner corner as well to give it more depth. And then I am using a smaller blending brush to just really, you know, pack that color. By the way, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I know Christmas is just all around the corner and it's crazy to think how <laughs> how time flies so fast. I can remember my first video. It was shitty. At least now it's not as less as shitty as. <laughs> but I still don't know how to edit. I want my videos just to be like this. Just like super chill. Just like back in the day. And then after that, I am going to get this color and then apply that on the center of my lid. It's going to be up to you on how intense you wanted it to be. But I am liking how the way this one looks. So I'm just going to add more a little bit later and then remove the harsh lines using a clean brush. Now I'm going to line my eyes using this The Balm Shrink Eyeliner in black. Just going to do a basic line. I'm not going to do any cat eye or anything like that. I think the reason why I don't want to do cat eye recently these days is because I'm so over and done with a winged eyeliner. <laughs> I don't know. And then using this black eyeliner from Lancome, I'm just going to tight line my eyes and also put that on my lower waterline just like what I'm doing right now. 
By the way, I'm not going to put any mascara anymore on my upper lashes just so because I feel like if I'm going to put false eyelashes and if I put mascara on, they look more obvious. So I'm just going to leave it like that and then apply my lashes directly. So the lashes that I will be using today is the Salon Perfect 615. You can use each pair for two times. If three times, then good. <laughs> What? I don't make any sense. And the glue that I'm using today is from Tarte. I literally ran out of my Revlon Lash Glue. That is my favorite glue of all time. And then I'm just going to use this uh, Profusion smudging brush kind of a thing and grab that color and apply that on my lower eye area. Just going to smoke it out a little bit. And then I'm going to use this Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit and apply that on my lower lashes so again i just didn't really put on any mascara on my upper lashes and then i'm gonna curl my lashes so if your false eyelashes have passed the curling test then guarantee to you that you won't have any problem throughout the day i think to me it's all in the glue Moving on to the face makeup, I am going to start with the MAC Strobe Cream. You guys have no idea. I'm so in love with this product. I really am. Like, I'm nuts about it. It really gives me this really nice dewy glow. I know I'm not making any sense right now because I'm going to set my face with a powder. By the way, and then <laughs> I'm all over the place. The foundation that I'm using right now is the Essay Lauder Double Wear in Rattan. Then using a beauty sponge, I'm just going to blend everything out. And I'm using the same concealer that I have used to clean up my brows. And then again, I'm just going to blend that in, making sure the product really gets into my skin. I'm not going to bake or anything like that. I'm just going to directly grab my MAC NC35 powder. I love this powder because it's full coverage. Let me just remove those here. And then I'm just going to swirl that all over my face. If you have decided to build up foundation in your face, don't swirl the powder because it's going to look cakey. And then I'm going to grab these two shades right here. And this is from my Shape Matters palette that I just depotted. Then using... A wet and wild angled brush I'm going to contour my face and then of course I'm gonna contour my nose because Pinocchio is goals and then I'm gonna grab these two blushes which is also from my old old Smashbox palette I'm not so sure why I still have that and then this highlighter is also from my Smashbox Shape Matters palette I don't have a lot of highlighter palettes because because <laughs> because to me i feel like it gives me the exact same thing like it gives me glow and i don't know it's just me guys okay and then the lip liner that i'm using right now is staunchly stylished by mac and it's absolutely one of my favorites and then i am going to use the wet n wild rebel rose cat suit liquid lipstick and apply that directly on my lips by the way the lip liner i applied it all over my lip area and that really gives it you know an additional long lasting power and to finish off everything i am going to get my mac prep and prime fix plus of course spray that all over my face and I love how it makes this really nice dewy look afterwards. This is the final makeup look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you have any other requests, please let me know. Hi, Gina. I'm so sorry if I wasn't able to do the request that you requested. But I love you guys so much. And thank you. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.